Okay, welcome back. Our next topic is systems of equations and we'll start by talking about solving systems of equations by graphing and later we'll look at a couple of other techniques but graphing first but first let's revisit what it means to solve an equation and talk about what it means to solve a system of equations. Okay, first just solving an equation and let's look at an example y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, this is an equation and there's two variables x and y and so we know what a solution would be. It would be a value for x and a value for y such that if they were plugged into that equation the result would be a true mathematical statement. And we know that this is a line. We've seen this before, right? Uh, this, has, uh, this is in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form and in this case we have a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. So we can graph this pretty easily. Just come down here and graph a y-intercept of negative 3 and then from there we can graph a slope of 2. So we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and we get some other points that we can plot and we can draw in the line. and this goes on forever in both directions so we'll put the arrowheads on the end. Now this line is a graph of this equation and what that means is that any point on this line should have an x and y value that will satisfy that equation. And let's look at a couple of examples. Just pick a couple of points here. I'm going to look at this one right here, this point, and you can see on the grid there that has an x value of 3 and a y value of 3. So the point 3 comma 3. x is 3, y is 3. If I take this equation and rewrite it putting in 3 for x and 3 for y I should have a true statement. So let's see 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. Yeah, And that works. You see 3 is equal to 6 minus 3. That is in fact true. So that point is a solution to that equation. Let's look at one other one that's not quite so obvious. Let's look at this point right here. That's that's the point. Uh, another example here. That x coordinate right there is 2.25 and the y coordinate is 1.5. So we should be able to put in those values for x and y right there. Let's try that. Y is 1.5 that should equal 2 times the x value which is 2.25 minus 3 so let's see if that's true 1.5 equals this 2 times 2.25 is 4.5 and then we subtract 3 and yeah that works 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5 so that's true also so this point is also a solution to this equation. And what we're saying is that any point on this line has x and y values that will satisfy that equation. So that's what it means for that line to be a solution or for that line to be that equation or to be a graph of that equation. Now what we want to look at is systems of equations and we're going to be looking at linear equations so they will be lines but these will be systems of linear equations and a system of equations is two or more equations equations with the same variables so let's look here this is an example here's a system of equations right here there's two equations and we have the same variables in each one x and y and x and y. That is a system of linear equations. And the solution to the system, that's the goal now. The goal is to solve the system. Not just solve one equation, but solve the system. And the solution to the system will be the values for x and y that make both equations true. And you can write that in your notes. The solution to the system will be the values for x and y the values for x and y that make both equations true.
So solving a, systems of, a system of equations means finding a value for x and y that will work in this equation and work in this equation at the same time. And mathematicians often say, instead of just saying finding values that make both equations true, you hear the terminology of finding the values for x and y that satisfy both equations. And since you have to find a value for x and y that will satisfy this first equation and satisfy this second equation at the same time, these are sometimes called simultaneous equations. And you sometimes hear that term. When people are referring to simultaneous equations, they're just referring to a system of equations. And solving the system involves finding a solution that works with both equations at the same time.